In this video, IO Expander PCF8574 is interfaced with the I2C bus of ATtiny85 to add multiple 8 bit ports to the microcontroller. ATtiny85 has a small footprint which makes it desirable in embedded applications. However, this microcontroller has only 5 usable IO pins which could be a limitation in some applications. To increase the number of I.O. lines of the microcontroller, we can use the I.O. expander PCF8574, which is interfaced with the microcontroller using I2C bus. IC PCF8574 is an I2C bus to 8-bit parallel port expander. It is interfaced to a microcontroller using the I2C bus with speed up to 100 kHz. We can interface 8 of these ICs with a microcontroller and each IC will have a unique slave address which is identified by these 3 programmable address pins. The IC gives us an 8-bit port where this is the least significant nibble of the port while this is the most significant nibble of the port. This block diagram shows us the interfacing of 8 PCF8574 ICs interface with 80Tiny85 microcontroller via the I2C bus thus giving us 8 8-bit I.O. ports. In this video we have 3 PCF8574 interface with ATtiny85 via the I2C bus. The 7-bit slave address of the first device is hexadecimal 20. The slave address of the second device is hexadecimal 24. And the slave address of the third device is hexadecimal 27. We also have 8-bit LED displays in the form of bar graphs interface with the PCF8574. The displays will show the bytes sent by the ATtiny85 microcontroller. In the C sketch we'll be using the TinyWire library to program the PCF8574. Within the setup function this uh, function will program the universal serial interface of the ATtiny85 microcontroller as an I2C interface. Inside the loop function we begin the transmission by sending the slave address of the first device and then we send the byte to be displayed and then we end the transmission. We do the same for the second device we first send the address and then we send the byte to be displayed and then we end the transmission. And finally for the third device we send the 7-bit slave address and then the byte to be displayed and then we end the transmission. And now for a quick demonstration. In this next demonstration we will display on the first device an 8-bit count up on the second device we will display a moving bit and on the third device we will display an 8-bit countdown. In this next demonstration we have five I.O. expanders interfaced with the ATtiny85. The address of the first expander is uh, 20 hexadecimal and the address of the last expander is 24. And connected to the I.O. expanders we have a 40-bit bar graph display that shows the Knight Rider effect. Within the setup function and after we initialize the ATtiny85 I2C we call this function to clear the display. Inside function clear display we use a nested for loop to clear all the ports of the 
5 uh, IO expanders. To get the Knight Rider effect, we use a nested for loop to scroll the LED from left to right. Next, we use another nested for loop to scroll the LED from right to left. In conclusion, PCF8574 IO expander is easy to program and can easily expand the IO capabilities of a microcontroller, especially ATtiny85. Thank you for watching.